Hello, this is New Vision TV and here's the latest with me, Lynn Komjisha. A cross-section of National Resistance Movement MPs who voted against the enactment of the Constitutional Amendment Bill dubbed the Edge Limit Bill to lift the presidential edge limit have been left out of the local Council One Cash Bonanza. New Vision TV has learned that among the NRM legislators receiving money for mobilization Ahead of the local council one elections slated for July 10th, the party rebel MPs who disagreed with the party during the vital vote to lift the edge limit are yet to receive the money. Last week, Justin Kasule Lumumba, the NRM Secretary General, told journalists at the party headquarters that the party would release 3 million shillings to each NRM MP to help in canvassing for votes for party members contesting as local council one chairpersons. Although Lumumba said the money is for all NRM members of parliament, including those who publicly disagreed with the party position during the debate and voting in December last year, some NRM MPs said that the money is yet to reach their pockets. Moving on, after 17 years, Uganda's revived airline is set to fly again in April next year. This was revealed by the State Minister for Finance, David Bahati. According to Bahati, Cabinet on Monday discussed the revival of the airline and directed the Works and Transport Minister to ensure that the defunct carrier is up and running by April. He was addressing journalists at the Uganda Media Center and the progress made so far towards the revival of the airline. Bahati said the finance ministry has allocated 129 billion shillings to kickstart the process and the extra about 150 billion shillings would be borrowed from Exim Bank. While addressing journalists at the media center in May on the NRM government's progress in uh, the transport sector, Works Minister Monica Azubantega said the government had made an initial cash deposit of approximately 1.2 million US dollars for the purchase of six passenger aircrafts. Azuba said a cash deposit of 1.5 billion shillings had been made for four Bombardier Sierra J900 passenger jets from the Canadian Bombardier Aerospace and another 800,000 US dollars, which is about 3 billion Uganda shillings deposit made for two wide body Airbus 330 to 200 aircraft. The Bombardiers will be delivered fast from a Canadian company. Yesterday, Azuba declined to comment on the matter, saying she was unwell. Uganda Airlines was the flag carrier of Uganda and was established in May 1976 and started operations in 1970. Seven. In sports news, Uganda Sports Press Association Chess Player of the Year 2017, Maria Nakanyike, has been invited to compete in the World Cadet Chess Championships 2018, which will take place in Spain November 3rd to 16th. The 12-year-old St. Marcelino Academy pupil has a chance to compete against some of the world's best chess players in the tournament, meant for the under-8, the under-10, and the under-12. It is open to boys and girls. But Nakanyike and her coach, Augustine Buwele, are now grappling with sponsorship for the event. They need air tickets valued at 1,780 US dollars, which is 7 million Uganda shillings, and a compulsory registration fee of 100 euros, which is about 444,000 Uganda shillings, before the September 3rd registration deadline. The 11 round tournament will be played using the Swiss system. You're still watching New Vision TV and now for Pole of Africa series, we take a look at Lake Ngugute. It is a crater lake located in Rubirizi districts in Bunyaruguru County. Besides its amazing additions to the district, its astonishing Africa shape has left many referring to it as Lake Africa. Lake Ngugute is associated with many tales, but what an end resident will tell you after he is Oh, her visit is that Uganda is endowed with incredible features, and this lake is one of them. An area view clearly shows an African map, but this is Lake Inkugute. This lake is found in Rubirizi district in the western part of Uganda.
Unlike other lakes with less vegetation, Kogote is much blessed with crops, eucalyptus trees, and its water is used for various activities by the locals. Some engage in fishing, not forget farming. The tourists who come here spend most of their time exploring the lake, engaging in hiking, swimming, and also sunbathing. Settlers have also embraced this locality because of its favorable weather. Now for Mupal of Africa Stories, visit our website www.newvision.co.ug or newspaper The Sun Division. It's also another home of adventures, so grab your copy every Sunday. For Pal of Africa Stories. And that's all we had for you. Thank you for watching. Be sure to catch more of your updates on your mobile, on your desktop, on your tablet, anywhere on the go by visiting www.newvision.co.ug. I'm Lynn Komjisha.